Okay, in this tutorial, we will be going over the basic of the new custom firmware version 3.03 OE C. First, we'll go over the features, then we'll go over how to put games and stuff. People are confused. I don't know. It's not that hard, just different. As far as it's concerned, um. Okay, everything works on here, except for the location free, but it has all the features of 1.5, nothing different. Um, like you can run all your homebrew apps like PSP Revolution over there, got all the new videos that can be held, so got three different ones, it's got the music. Blah, 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 blah. So you use the digital camera, you can do that. And as far as games go, so you can also run ISO straight off the game folder, like Tony Hawk's right there, SOCOM, Metal Gear Acid. They all run straight off, you don't need a loader anymore, so there's no need to look for one. That helps a lot. Like, I like this firmware a lot. For example, let's say I want to run SOCOM, full ISO. See here, no game in the disk drive. Empty. Runs fine. Oh, sometimes I have a disk in the drive for it to work. See, let's say I put Death Junior here. Sometimes I have to give you a UMD in there, so you can sort of trick the PSP into using a UMD, although it's running straight from the memory card. So come US maybe seals. Original. It's pretty nice. I haven't really played it much, but soon for the tutorial. Yeah. As you can see, it is loading. I'll show you guys if it works. You probably already believe me, but whatever. You guys have heard about it. Let's see, loaded. Blah 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 blah. Okay. I don't care. Sony Entertainment presents. Oh my god. No. It's on the PSP. Not on any other console. Okay, point is it works. Um. Yeah. Pretty much all features 3.03 and the additional features of 1.5 and all its homebrew capabilities. Another feature of this is when you hold this down, power button, turn it off. Let's say by chance you break your PSP, experimenting with homebrew in the future. Nice little feature is that was added on by Dark Alex. Is if you hold down the arc breaker while you turn it on, you'll get into the system bio. So if your PSP breaks, you have the option of reformatting, reflashing your PSP to go into. 1.5 again, so sort of fixes your PC from being bricked. So you, you can toggle the USB, put in your recovery, then you can run it. And the eboot.ppp will be your update to 1.5. And you have the option of basically like hiding some stuff, like your your corrupted files when you run PSP stuff. So you have a bunch of different options. You can overclock it. Do basic stuff like that. You can do different hacks and stuff. Make it seem like it's from a different country. Region coding and stuff. It's got some clever little features in there. So obviously turn this on. Okay. Turn on, go to the USB mode, basic stuff. Okay. Okay, now that it is in the USB mode, let's see here. Um, okay, computer detected it. Okay. We are going to do 
Where's the minimize? There it is. Open folder to view files using Windows Explorer. Let's minimize that. We don't need that. Okay. Now here is the root of my memory stick. Okay. What is that? I don't need this. I don't know why this stuff's out here. I'm just gonna make this thing easier. Oh, I remember what this is for. When I connected that other memory card. Okay, anyway. Um, you're basically, you're obviously gonna already see PSP right there. That's your basic folder inside it. You're gonna have common game game, you know. So that you're gonna have PSP. For ISOs, you're gonna want to make a folder on the root of a memory stick called ISO. I am not these are all backups of my original games. Downloading games are bad. That's stealing, that's not cool. You don't you know people steal your games? Well this is what's happening from Sony, you're stealing their games. Not cool. So just back up your own so you don't have to carry out any UMD. There's Metal Gear Acid, SOCOM, Tony Hawk. Um Yeah. You just put dry cells in there, they'll run straight off your disk. You make a folder called ISO. It's MP root. This is for your MP4. This is for your other M4s. That's for like one Sony Vegas. And now that we've gone through that. There is the PSP folder itself. Which inside here you'll have a common a game folder, photo folder, music folder, save data, and system. System is basically for your browser, you don't have to care about that. Save data is for your game saves, you don't have to care about that. Photo, it's for your photos. So music, free music. Pretty normal game folder you don't put any of your homebrew in there it's a no this is actually where you put your playstation 1 isos you put them you open that make a folder in here how about I just make one you can name it whatever then inside here you put the iso or actually it'll be an eboot yeah you put that in there that's basically what you do and then you have to make a folder called game 150 like this here and that is basically we're going to put all your basic 1.5 homebrew inside just a normal it's basically all you do then you have to make another folder called game 303 like that and that's basically where you put all your 3.03 .03 applications in to get online and stuff like the demos and stuff like that you put all that there that's pretty much it. ISO, put your ISOs in. Um, MP root, all that. This is actually my digital camera, it's from my that thing, so you can ignore that. You're probably not gonna end up with this. Game, PlayStation 1, 1.5 homebrew, 3.03 applications, save data, browser, music, photo, common. Game. I actually have no idea what comments for. Don't even ask me. I've never used it before. Videos. Okay, so that is pretty much what you have to know. Yeah. ISOs, basically. Use your own. Do not steal. Stealing is not cool. I do not support anything illegal. That's not cool. Just know. Sure, someone doesn't like us having fun with homebrew, but it's mostly because of the ISOs. ISOs are wrong. Okay, so that basically concludes our video tutorial of how to use version 3.03 OE-C custom firmware by Dark Alex.